Welcome to this spoken tutorial on Linux file system. I am using on Linux operating system. We assume that you know how to get started with the Linux operating system and have some basic idea about commands. If you are interested, it is available through another spoken tutorial on the following website http colon slash slash spoken dash tutorial dot org. Also note that Linux is case sensitive. All the commands used in this tutorial are in lower case unless otherwise mentioned. In Linux, almost everything is a file. So what is a file? In real life, we know that a file is where we store documents and papers. Similarly, in Linux, a file is a container for storing information. Next, what is a directory? A directory can be understood as a collection of files and other subdirectories. A directory helps us in organizing our files in a systematic manner. This is like what we call folders in Windows. It allows different users to have their own directories with their files which other cannot access or modify. Also, if there are no directories, all the files on the system need to have unique names, which would be very difficult to maintain. These definitions of files and directories are good to get a general feel about them. They are not entirely accurate. As well as it contains, a file has a name and some properties or administrative information, that is, the file's creation or modification date and its permission. The properties are stored in the files I know, a special block of data in the file system, that also contains the length of the file and where on the disk it is stored. The system uses the number of the files I know. The directory structure just makes the file for our benefit as it is easier for us to remember names than larger numbers. Contrary to its oversimplified definition, a directory does not actually store other files. It is itself a file that holds the inode numbers and names of other files. In fact, in Linux there are three kinds of files. Regular files or ordinary files. It contains only data and a stream of characters. Directories as we just saw in the previous slides. Device files. All hardware devices and peripherals are represented as files in Linux. A CD, a hard disk or even an EOB stick. Everything is a file in Linux. But why is this so? This helps to read and write these devices in a way similar to that for ordinary files. All files in Linux are related. In short, all family family must like we do. A directory containing say some files and sub directories will have a parent child relationship with each other. This gives rise to the Linux file system tree. At the top is the root denoted by a front slash. It contains all the other files and directories. This also helps in easy navigation from one file or directory to other if you know the correct path. As we work with the Linux file system, it seems that we are moving along this tree. One command and there you are teleported from one place to other. Sounds interesting? Indeed it is, as we will see. When we log in into the Linux file system, we are by default in a home directory. Now, switch to the terminal. To see the home directory, type at the command prompt echo space dollar H O N E in capital and press enter. This gives the path name of our home directory. We can move around from one directory to other.
But anytime we can be in one directory and this directory is known as current directory or working directory. The PWD command helps us to see the current directory. PWD stands for present working directory. Type in the command prompt PWD and press enter. Now this is our present working directory. We have said that we can move from one directory to other. But how do we do so? We have the cd command for this purpose. You have to type the command cd followed by the path name of the directory you want to move to. Let's again see our current directory by typing pwd at the command prompt and press enter. So now we are placed in this directory. Now say we want to move to slash usr directory. So type cd space slash usr. Remember here slash in Linux means front slash and press enter. Now let's see our current directory. Type pwd and press enter. Yes. We are moved to slash usr directory. The problem here is the path names can be very long. This is because we were absolute path names that unused the entire path starting from the root directory. Instead, we may use relative path names that begin from the current directory. Here, we need to note two special characters. Dot that represents the current directory and dot dot that represents the parent directory or the current directory. Now, let us have a brief session on cd command. The command cd without any arguments is used to move back to the home directory. Type in the command prompt cd and press enter. Now, check our current directory by the pwd command. So now we are back in our home directory slash home slash nughata. Now let us move to music directory. Type in the command from cd space music m in capital slash and press enter. Now check our current directory by the pwd command pwd and press enter. See we have moved to slash home slash nuvata slash music. Let us go to the parent directory of music. For that you have to use cd command with dot dot. Type at the command from cd space dot dot and press enter. Now check our present directory by typing pwd. pwd we are again in slash home slash Munata. Now let's try to move PSR directory or the current directory using dot. Type in the command prompt cd space dot slash documents d in capital slash press enter. Check our current directory by typing pwd. We are at slash home slash nuata slash documents. Let me clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L so you can see clearly. To go back to our home directory by cd command type cd and press enter. Again check our current directory by pwd command. We are back to slash home slash nuata. We can combine any number of dot dot separated by slash in a relative path. In this slide, we can see the file system hierarchy. Root or slash is at the top. Home and bin are two sub directories under root. Username, here the directory named Mukata is a sub directory under home. So, now we are in slash home slash Mukata. Now, how we can we go to bin directory? Type at the command prompt cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash bin. 
and press enter. Check our current directory by the command pwd. We are at slash bin. The first dot dot take us from slash home slash nukata to slash home. The next take us from slash home to root. Now from root or slash we have moved to slash bin directory. Go back to our home directory by the command cd. To create a directory we use the mkdir command. You have to type the command and the name of the directory to be created and the directory would be created under the current directory. To create a directory name test bit, type the command mkdir space test bit and press enter. This creates the test bit directory successfully. Note that there is no explicit notification of the successful directory creation or removal. If you do not get any error message, it denotes successful execution. We can also use the relative or absolute path name to create a directory anywhere in the tree provided we have the permission to do so and the directory by the name does not already exist. This process can be used for making multiple directories or even a hierarchy of directories. Type mkdir space test1 space test2 and press enter. This will make two directories named test1 and test2 under the present directory. Type mkdir space test3 space test3 slash test3. This will make a directory test3 and another directory test3 which is a sub directory under test3. So we have created four directories namely test this, test1, test2, test3 in the current directory of the which First three are empty and the last one contains a sub directory namely test three. Similar to the mkdir command is the rmdir command which is used for removing a directory or directories. The command rmdir space test one removes the test one directory successfully. A directory can be removed only if you are its owner, your current directory is hierarchically above the directory to be removed and the directory is empty. Now type at the command prompt cd space test3 slash test3. So we are now in test3 directory which is a subdirectory under test3. Let's try to remove the test then directly by typing the command rmdir space test dir. Press enter. We see it can't be done because current directory is not hierarchically above the directory to be removed. So we have to go to the directory which is hierarchically above test dir directory. Type cd space dot dot and press enter. Now go back to your parent directory by typing the command cd space dot dot. Now again try the previous command type rmdir space test dir. Press enter. The test dir directory is successfully deleted. Note that test dir directory was also empty. Multiple directories or a hierarchy of directories can be removed at once. So try to delete the test3 directory along with its subdirectory test3. Type at the command prompt rmdir space test3 space test3 slash test3. Press enter. See it is giving the error message that 
test tree directory cannot be removed because test tree is not empty. But one thing which you may miss is that test tree slash test tree has been deleted as it was empty. To check that, type up the command prompt cd space test tree and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. See the directory contains nothing. So test tree was deleted. So in this Linux tutorial, we have learned about Linux files and directories and how to work with Linux directories. See them, move between them, make them, remove them. This brings me to the end of this tutorial. Spoken tutorials are part of the Talk to a Teacher project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on this is available at the following link. This is Anusha Kadambala signing off. Thank you for joining.